What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you on how to fly very easily. It's going to be a very easy build to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so as you can see, I have here my third person uh, template. So let's go ahead and make this character over here be able to fly. So let's go and open up the third person character blueprint, or whatever character blueprint you're using in your pride, doesn't really matter. And what we're going to do is create a new input action so we can basically fly. In this case, it can be whatever key you want. So let's go into third person input actions, right click, go into input and create a new input action. Let's name this uh, Y A underscore uh, just fly, doesn't really matter. And now we can leave everything as default, you save it and close it. So now let's go into the collection. And now we have to add this specific uh, key into the collection so our player can use it. In this case, it will be um, IA fly, and then the key will be whatever you want. In my case, I'm gonna put, for example, N. Okay, it doesn't really matter. Let's go back in here and we press the uh, fly key, so it will be uh, IA fly. What we're going to do is basically put our uh, character movement to be flying. So we can use again a character movement, set the mode, and we're gonna be on startup plugging this here, and this will be flying. So now our character will be flying, and actually, this will work right now. So if I right now go and press N, as you can see, I can go ahead and do strange things. I can slide, as you can see, I, I, I'm basically sliding. If I go here into slope, I gotta don't fall anymore, you know. So things are going ahead and working right now but first of all let's go into our character movement component go into fly and change a bit the movement speed so first of all let's make this a bit slower maybe 500 and then the breaking the solution let's put maybe like 2000 because right now there's a lot of sliding and i do not like that let's see right now yeah this is much better right now it feels better uh actually i didn't press n <laughs> okay yeah that feels way better there's still some sliding, which is nice to some inertia, but enough to be able to control our player. Maybe we can put this to be uh, 1500, maybe it's a bit better, so you can play with the values as you want. But basically right now, we are able to fly, but we cannot move, you know, up or down. So let's go ahead and change this. So for that, let's go ahead and create a new input action. Let's go here, let's right click, go into input action. This will be EA underscore fly up. Um, and down let's open this and the only thing that we have to change here is the value type and to be an access to the uh, vector D. okay this will allow us to move up or down in two directions basically because we have two axes so now we can go here and just uh, go back into our uh, collection open this up and I just add it and then this will be up and down or whatever so I'm gonna add two keys here. One will be basically uh, space and one control. Okay, left control will have a modifier which will be the negate, so it'll be negative. So it'll go down, and the space bar will be ready positive. As you can see, it's very similar to our EA move, uh, but for uh, basically going up or down instead. So now let's go back into our third person character. I'm gonna add this EA underscore uh, fly up and down. And now we are only going uh, on triggered. We're only gonna go ahead and continue if our player is actually flying. So we can get our character movement component and just ask, is flying? If so, we're gonna go ahead and continue. I'm gonna add some movement input. In this case, the wall direction will be our get uh, controller and get up vector and plug that there. And then I'm going to do is to get the action value, right click, split. So now we have the, uh, you know, both separate axes. And I'm going to go ahead and plug in the, I believe this is the Y axis. Okay, so let's go and test this out. Press N. I can go ahead and um, go here. And wait, sorry. It should be the X. Let's go ahead. Go here. Now we're normal. Press N. We're flying. Control go down, as you can see, and space go up. There we go. So it was the x-axis. So now we can go ahead and go up, down, or whatever 
direction we want and it's ending pretty cool another thing I want to do is be able to go back to normal so let's make a branch here I'm gonna be exactly the same as uh, is flying okay so I'm gonna copy this boolean this here and add a not boolean here so if we are currently not flying we're gonna fly but if not we're gonna go ahead and set the mode to be back to in this case let's say falling so the player will fall until it reaches the ground so now I can press N, go up, and then when I press N again, I will just fall back into the ground and everything will be back to normal. Great. So let's go ahead and quickly just add an animation so it will be, you know, like floating a bit better and not like super plain. Uh, so let's go ahead and drag in our animation. In my case, I will be linking it in the description. You can just go ahead and load it. So in my case, this one, you just go ahead and drag it into the content browser close this and now we can select the skeleton it will be the sk mannequin okay for unreal engine 5 and now we can say uh, import and in a few seconds we have our floating animation here as you can see pretty cool so now let's go into our characters folder mannequins animations and open up avp manny okay not queen even though you have queen open manny uh because queen is a child so many changes will also be applied in in the queen uh, animation blueprint let's go into the name graph go into main states right click green state it will be flying and now we can just connect our locomotion here and then go back to okay in this case we're gonna have a new variable which will be uh flying as simple as that oh i already have flying and seems like uh so we have is falling no not flying okay so is flying there we go it's flying uh, it will be a boolean and in the arrow from locomotion to flying we'll double click this and make sure that this is true so if it's flying we'll continue and the other one it will be is flying is not boolean and now we can just go back here so we'll go back into the other state let's enter in the flying and search for flying or oh, floating uh, animation plug it in select it and make sure this is uh, loop animation is on so now it's flying is on as you can see if I take it it will be flying and deactivate it, it will be back to normal so let's go into the bang graph add a new pin and in this case we're gonna go ahead and get the character movement component so we can just get the movement component get uh, is flying uh, wait sorry it's, it's, it's flying right there we go it's flying and now uh, we're gonna be setting this variable depending on that okay there we go so now i can go back into our play mode and i can go ahead and press n i'll be flying with animation go up be over here go up or down so control space whatever i want then press n again go back to normal with all of the animations so that's it guys if you found this so helpful i would really appreciate if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel the profiles will be available in my patreon and youtube members so check it out join my discord server follow me on my socials and now yes with all i said bye bye